Hello, grade eight students. I hope you are doing well. Uh, so today in this lecture, we will start in lesson number two. We are still in the same chapter, recreation. And the title of lesson number two is tourism in Jamaica. And this is Ms. Mohamedson. The table of contents for this presentation. First, we will have our view on our theme, recreation, and then we will look at the vocabulary, the words bank. Then we will read the text and comprehend it. After that, we will have comprehension questions based on that text and the answer key. So before we start, uh, please refresh your mind and uh, review the word recreation, which is the theme for this uh, lesson and brainstorm your ideas based on our previous lesson because before we talked about recreation uh, in lesson number one. So brainstorm, brainstorm your ideas and write down what you remember about recreation. So here I put for you the definition and the types of recreation. So recreation is defined as the act of making something for the second time or refreshment of the mind, body, or spirit through play and relaxation. The types of recreation, the exact method or application of recreation varies greatly from individual to individual. Common areas include sports like team sports, individual sports, camping and ecological pursuits, exercise, food and dining, shopping, media, entertainment, like uh, books, magazines, movies, television, music and theater and drama. Also vacations. So these are all different types of recreation. And as we said before, recreation is not something that you do every day, but it's something that we do from time to time to refresh our mind and body away from the routine. Uh, now we'll start, we will start with the vocabulary. Now, before I show you the vocabulary words and their meanings, I want you to look at the pictures and infer the meaning. So in the first slide here, you have a group of pictures. They all relate to one vocabulary word. So we don't have to look at each picture separately to guess the word, look at them all together in this slide and try to guess what is the vocabulary word that you must infer from these pictures? For example, look at this uh, woman here. She's making a call, clearly she's working. It's, it's her business, for example. And you can see uh, the background. There is the world map and there are airplanes here. Someone is packed up and ready to go somewhere. Here are also tickets, locations, uh, airplanes, uh, someone guiding so, uh, someone else. Who are these people uh, with cameras in uh, a, like a beautiful place? Maybe they are visiting this place, how to travel the world. So look at these pictures and deduce the vocabulary word. Uh, same here, look at these pictures all together and deduce the vocabulary words. So you have uh, profit, you have money, profit, some like an arrow going up. So what does profit means? Is it gaining money or losing money? You have travel agency, how is that related to traveling? Uh, and what does that arrow that's going up, what does it infer? Similarly for uh, the slide, look at uh, these pictures all together. You have here different words. We took the word enormous before. Now I want you to focus on the word massive and look to these pictures and try to infer its meaning. And here also look at all these pictures together. You have bed, you have here the name of an application, maybe you don't all know it. A bedroom, someone uh, with his bag packed up and his coming into that bedroom. Uh, two people also with their bags uh, on the like uh, registration. And here you have maybe malls, here uh, an hotel, whatever. 
So look at these pictures and write down what vocabulary word can you infer? One vocabulary word for all of them. So here are the vocabulary words. The first one was tourism. It's a noun. It's the business of providing services such as transport, places to stay, or entertainment for people who are on holidays. You can refer to the pictures that are on the first slide under the vocabulary words. The second one is profits. It's a noun. The profit is the money that is earned in trade or business. Okay. And then massive, it's an adjective, very large in size. It has the same uh, meaning as enormous, very large in size, amount, or number. And accommodation, it's a noun, it's a place to live, work, or stay in. So an accommodation can be like one bedroom, it can be an apartment, it can be a hotel room, um, whatever, okay? So as long as it's a place to live, work, or stay in. It is called an accommodation. Now, before we start our reading, uh, because the reading is about uh, tourism to Jamaica, I just added the, this slide where I'm introducing to you uh, Jamaica. It is an island country situated in the Caribbean Sea, spanning 10,990 square kilometers in area. It is the third largest island of the greater Antilles and the Caribbean, after Cuba and Hispani Hispaniola. All right. And now we will start with the reading. You have to read the following text in which the writer talks about tourism in Jamaica and then carry out the activities that follow. As I said before, the title for this lesson is Tourism in Jamaica. Paragraph number one. Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean Sea within the tropics. It's located close to other major islands such as Cuba and is a great example of mass tourism taking place in a tropical area. Now, before I continue, you can notice that we have the vocabulary word mass or similar to the vocabulary word massive. So massive tourism, like it has a large number of tourists there. And now paragraph number two, Jamaica has mass tourism because many people visit every year. So here it's, it's explained again, it's so clear. And between the brackets, 1.9 million stopover tourists in 2011. People visit Jamaica for the beaches such as Montego Bay, deep sea fishing at Port Antonio Caves at Cockpit Country, golf courses such as next to Kingston Town and water sports in Montego Bay. More cultural activities include various historic plantation houses such as Port Maria, and there are environmental tourist attractions such as bird sanctuaries, island from Montego Bay and botanic gardens and a national park in the Blue Mountains. Paragraph number three, However, Jamaica nowadays has problems because its tourist numbers are decreasing slightly due to competition from new, new resorts across other Caribbean islands. Apart from this, mass tourism in Jamaica brings problems and positives to the island. Paragraph number four. Tourism brings in money to Jamaica. It can be spent on essential services such as healthcare and education, which can boost the overall level of development. This has a downside, however, as Jamaica is dependent upon this income, the economy would be negatively affected if tourists number fall. So because Jamaica as a country is dependent on the profit or the money that it's gaining, because that money from tourists are making its economical uh, situation better, this means that on the other side, if the number of tourists decreases, it's uh, or it will be negatively affected because it will have uh, or it will lose its profit or its source for providing healthcare and education for its for its development. And now paragraph number five, 
Tourism is also a vital employer. 220,000 Jamaicans work in tourism. People work in a wide range of jobs, from the construction of hotels and tourist facilities to service work, cleaning, working in bars, caddying on golf courses, amongst other jobs. Paragraph number six, all in all, tourism benefits many sectors of the economy as people spend money in bars, restaurants, and other local businesses. So tourism has a positive multiplier effect. Paragraph number seven. On the other hand, one of the major problems faced is that large foreign transnational, large foreign transnational companies organize the holidays and make most of the money. So the profits go out of Jamaica. Worse still, local employees in the tourism sector are paid low wages, whereas managers from other countries earn more money. Even then, many of the jobs created are seasonal. So people can become unemployed. So the seasonal like, uh, let's say, uh, their tourism or the tourist number uh, hits in summer. So the, the locals there will be employed only in summer in that season, and then they will be unemployed in winter, for example, and autumn, let's say. So that is seasonal. And now paragraph number eight, in short, enhancing tourism costs the locals and their environment a lot. For instance, so this is an example, land for the massive hotels takes away land from farmers. Water use also increases for drinking water, washing and recreation, taking water from local people. Local people cannot afford the facilities put in place for the tourists. So it's like local people are paying for what the tourists are getting. And paragraph number nine, as a response to some of these problems, Jamaica is branching tourism out into community tourism, where tourists stay with locals in their homes, directly benefiting locals with the money they pay for accommodation. So before I continue, remember in the vocabulary, I said an accommodation is not necessarily a hotel room. It can be uh, just a bedroom. It can be in an apartment. So what uh, Jamaica did as a country to benefit its locals is that it's, it's offering, uh, of course, with the locals that these visitors and these tourists can stay in the locals' home. For example, they take a room in their homes or in homes that locals own. In this way, locals would be benefiting and the, the country would be benefiting and the visitors would not be affecting the country or the locals. There are also eco-tourist lodges along the coastline. The features of these lodges include an approach to low or zero waste, solar panels to produce power, very low visitor numbers, and recycling of water. So these are solutions for the problems. Great Huts Resort near Boston Beach has some of these features and also offers educational tours of its local area. And by now we are done with the text. I hope you are understanding everything. And after reading the text and understanding everything, you will be solving two parts, A and B, as comprehension questions. And please, if you still do not understand the text, go and read it again, because for you to be able to solve comprehension questions correctly, you have to be able to analyze and understand the text. So answer the following questions using complete sentences and words of your own. Number one, refer to paragraph two to name three activities that tourists do in Jamaica. Number two, refer to paragraphs four and five to tell what the two main ways are in which Jamaica benefits from tourism. Number three, based on paragraph eight, how are the locals negatively affected by tourism in Jamaica? Mention four ways. So please, if you are an online student, pause this video and try to solve them on your own because next you will have 
part B, and after that, you will have the solution. So here is part B. You have to complete with the paragraph number or numbers that match each of the following headings. So on the left, you have the headings, and on the right, you have the page or the, sorry, paragraph number. You have to match the headings with the correct paragraph number. You have only four headings, so you don't have to match them with all the paragraphs of the text. Only there are four paragraphs that uh, have their headings here. So the first one, solutions to the problem, effects of tourism on locals. So we said that tourism has uh, or is uh, leading to negative effects on the locals. So what are the, or where were the solutions to this problem mentioned in which paragraph? The second one, activities enjoyed by tourists. Third one, negative effects of tourism. And the fourth one, locals working in the tourism sector. And next, I will be showing you the solution. So the answer for the questions in part A, by referring to paragraph two, tourists in Jamaica visit cultural places such as caves and ruins. They also do educational and health care. Moreover, they enjoy their time at the beach. Number two, Jamaica benefits the tourists through educational and health care services. Number three, based on paragraph eight, the four ways that negatively affect the locals are lands for massive hotels, take away land for farmers, high water consumption, locals cannot afford the facilities put in place for the tourists. And now part B, uh, the solutions to the problem effect of tourism on locals refers to paragraph number nine. The activities enjoyed by tourists, this is the heading for paragraph number two, negative effects of tourism. This is the heading for paragraph number four. And last but not least, locals working in the tourism sector. This is the heading for paragraph number five. And here our presentation comes to an end. Please, if you have any question, you can ask me. This is my email. Have a nice day.